Hello everybody, welcome back to an episode of Blue Archive. In the last part, we straddle on to a fray and trip on a train to deliver some a fancy tea set to Trinity. Fortunately, it wound up on a separate train and we kind of had to sneak our way on board and all things broke loose. So, we got to see what happens. Train to hell. Um, so Sensei, I'm sure this isn't this is impossible, but by chance, by some impossible chance, you and the trainee girl aren't considering negotiating with this criminal, right? Right? <laughs> oh, Yori, Yori, your wistful dreams are based on ignorance. Do you happen to know what's inside this bag? This isn't just a pretty bag. It's holding one of the Trinity School's rel school relics. Or re if it were lost or unthinkably were to break. Well, it'd make things difficult for, even for a big shot like Trinity Academy. What do you mean? A Trinity relic? What in the world is something like that doing here? Okay, okay, I made things easier for everyone to understand. It's gotten this far anyways, so let's lay our cards on the table. Who knows? Maybe we'll walk all walk away happy. Yor, you snuck onto this train to bring down the hand of justice on the gang and train and train crew members, am I right? Let me go, and we can keep playing a little game of cat and mouse. Don't you live for the thrill of the chase anyway? And our train and cutie bag just, just has to take her luggage and shimmy on back to her ivory towers at the next stop. I know, I know, but what'll happen to our main character? I'll step right on out of here as if I never existed, save all the paperwork. I know, so kind of me. Everything works out perfectly, no fighting necessary. Pretty smart, huh? Everyone gets what they want at the small price of turning a blind eye. I mean, poor little me was kidnapped before to be here. I hardly think that I'm, I hardly think that I'm being reason unreasonable. Well, come on then, why the blank stares? This isn't our first rodeo, is it? The exciting part of life is just that things never go exactly the way you want. Embrace it! And that's that. What do you think, Yori? Deal? Dale. It's not a bad offer. If I do say so myself. And I do. Did you get hit in the head? In what universe am I going to set you free and run amok when you're right under my nose? I don't care about Trinity and their stupid problems. The only thing that matters is what I'm doing my job. <sighs> Chica. Do you think so? It's really not that simple. Whether you like it or not, I've made it made it your problem. Made it your problem, Yori. Protest all you want as long as I have this bag. Trinity girl and Sensei have to listen to me. Isn't that right, cutie pie? I'll reiterate, whatever's going on here going on with them isn't my problem. We have our own issues to settle. And you, why are you being so stubborn? Not even, I'm not even arresting you. Obviously there's been, there's been a situation here, and I just need to hear your side of the story. Let me do my damn job. Really focusing the, on the thing on the wrong things here. I'm weighing her decision from the from her bated breath. In a few moments' time, she's going to shoot at, shoot you for the sake of this teacup, chamber pot, thingy, whatever. Isn't that right? A friend from the Justice Task Force. What was your name again? Nika. Anyways, you need this intact, right? And she's boiling over. Enough about the bag. Teapot, this bag, that. Seriously. Who cares about a stupid bag? Wow. <laughs> oh boy. I tried to warn you. I tried to warn you and you didn't believe me. Oh, Yori, my dear foolish Yori. You know I'll always emerge victorious, but that'll never stop you from da challenging me. Not like I'm my adorable, obedient cutie pie over here. Until I, until I hand over this bag. There's nothing she can... <laughs> Shot you too. Oh, there goes the teapot. Ah, 
Ah, I shot her. I probably had gone and done it now. My temper gets the best of me sometimes. I really am sorry. Couldn't do it anymore. I just... Um... Oh boy. Whoa. The chica at the back! The back! The teacup! Yep, my bag really just fell right to the ground. Well, no point in crying over spilled milk. Right now, that's, 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 a, that's a future me problem. This whole thing is probably doomed. The rug is dead. Rug definitely is. Probably. Who knows? Well, I really couldn't tell you how we ended up here. But I feel like it's just a bit unfair that I'm the only one who's had to suffer all day long. Huh. Oh, she's opened her eyes. That's why I don't know every single one of you join, join me in hell. Oh boy. She's gone nuts. What's happening? She's unstoppable. Somebody do something. What are we supposed to do against her? She's crazy. No! She's lost her mind. She got pushed over the edge. <laughs> Silent but deadly. She's the type of person that you don't want to make mad. She's that, she's she's that she's that type of person who's always calm. And when you, punch, when you make that person angry, it's not very it's not a pleasant sight. Effort over talent. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I was this exhausted. I guess I'm not surprised after all that. Well, um, we did it! Yay, we're at the front car, so all I have to do is stop the train now, right? Hey, Chica, are you okay? I think the relic, relic is shattered, shattered though. <laughs> yeah, relic. The relic. You know, who cares? Who cares if it's a teacup or a chamber pot? If I get in trouble or get, or if I get in trouble or get fired, it's all on my hands. My defense is they just had they just had they just said to bring it. They didn't say it had to be intact, so maybe I'll get off with a warning. <laughs> I feel a little insane right now. I'm sorry, Sensei. Today didn't go to plan at all. I really put my foot in, in this time. I mean, things are things are a total disaster. I honestly was I honestly was trying to show off a little bit in front of you. So much for that. I promised you that my best and showed and showed you my complete and absolute worst. I can't believe I totally lost control like that. Ugh. Why am I like this? What's wrong with me? It's so pathetic. Hmm? You don't think I'm pathetic, but but I made a pretty bad mistake earlier. It just doesn't add up. Didn't I? Messed up pretty bad? I technically did. So you agree with me? Then why are you still being so supportive? But, but what? Well, you got cost me really put us to the ringer, huh? 
It was just as satisfying for me as it was for you. I'm complicit. <laughs> no way. You felt the same way, Sensei? Oh my gosh, I'm not crazy. Do you get it? How is anyone expected to put up with that? And I did for so long. Yeah, you're right. She did put us through it. I deserved it enough. <laughs> I don't like the way you're laughing. <laughs> ah, I feel I feel better. Well, it is what it is. I'll worry about the consequences when I have to face them. Don't worry about anything, Sensei. I'll be the sure to include my report that you, that you had no choice but to help me. Huh? What do you mean? You want to tag along to where? The tea party? Why? I'll go with you. We'll apologize together. I can't send you to the lion's den alone, Ch Ch Chica. Hmm? Why would you say something like that? This was my this is my fault. You have nothing to apologize for. If I hadn't loaded the rag on the wrong cargo to begin with, none of this would have happened. It was me and my terrible personality that caused this. So why would you feel the need to apologize? Huh? Chica, your personality is great. You're being ridiculous. So you should always speak with sincerity, you know? I'm aware that I have a bad temper and an even worse personality, so I'm responsible for not making that other people from that other people's burdens. But well, you experienced it firsthand. I always lo I always lose my cool in the end. That's who I am as a person. I just I just work really hard and give off a bubbly exterior that hides how volatile I feel on the inside. I thought you of all people simply could put two and two together and realize that what an unpleasant student I actually am. Or do you just not want to tell me the truth to my face? Face. You're being honest? I don't get it. I've dealt with worse things than you, honestly. You cheeky, you really try you really, really hard to you really you try really, really hard to put up with it, right? You always put your best effort in be okay, put that one. I've dealt with worse students. Wow. Um Oh. <laughs> wow. She doesn't know what to say. Your perspective is a little hard for me to have to fathom. It's hard to believe. Were you a lawyer in the past life? You really do have a good have a way with words. This is really make it hard for me to say anything in, pro in protest. If you put it like that, okay. Yeah, I guess I can't argue that. Oh, huh? Feels like I've been carrying this huge burden, shame that I can finally let go of it, at least a little. Feels a little vul feels a little vulnerable to be honest, but it's not the worst feeling. Hmm. Oh my. Ugh. I'm really glad I took this job today, Sensei. I mean, the job itself didn't go all that well, but, um, said you would come with me, right? To help tell Nagisa? I'm pushing my luck today and asking for your help. Uh, Sensei, we're well past the point of no return here. While I'm asking you for help, if I could just ask for one more thing, please. If you don't mind, if you're okay with it, I'm still... You're the only one who's seen the bad-tempered side of me. You could keep this little secret from everyone back at Trinity. She could save with me. <laughs> wow. Feels like you know me better than myself sometimes. It's a little and it's a little annoying being read like a book, but it's also kind of nice. I have a lot of contradictory feelings when it comes to you. Like like how, like I like how you get let me depend on you, but you can't keep it, but, but you can't keep doing this. You're messing me up. I mean, I mean it. Seriously, it feels a little dangerous. I always have this vague feeling of, con of content when you're around, like it doesn't matter if I do things perfectly or not. Ugh, I'm behaving like a complete child right now. How cringy. I mean, I guess it's kind of nice in a way. Huh? Wait, what is that? Do you see that, Sensei? That. Over there by the bridge on the river. Do you see it? Isn't that... Oh, boy. Hogsmeade's apartment. Is that a pile of explosives? Um, what? Exactly what are they planning on doing with all those explosives? The president is on board this train. Wait, president of the train? Ah. According to the original plan, if I failed to detach the transport car and escape, I would have immediately switched to plan B. Which involved derailing the train with a bomb, exploring the distraction, and reaching out to the other club members to facilitate my escape, but... 
You'll never hurt my feelings if you keep looking at me like that, Sensei. Oh boy. Don't worry, as long as I'm still here, you all want them, I won't let them do it. As long as I'm here. She's gone. Derail train. That won't happen, and as long as I'm still here. Eh, she's gone. <laughs> as long as I'm here. Oh boy. That's what she meant. You never know with her. She's the only one who could, call it, who could tell them to stop. This is Kasumi's escape plan. She's just so. Oh my. She goes too far with everything. My old heart saw I hate this. Huh. Well, rip that train. Rip that train. So, so very sorry. Sorry, I'm really ashamed. What do you mean? Just what is your you're attempting to apologize for right now? Hmm? What? We shat we shattered the teacup set two million pieces. You haven't seen the relic yet? Oh, that's that's not. Uh, I believe I understand the situation now. You see, I must apologize. It seems I may have put undue pressure on both of you. Make things simple, it's quite alright if it's broken. Come again? But what if it's completely shattered? My concern was the impl implications of the relic being lost. Its current state has no bearing. It's a rather simple solu solution. As long as we're in possession of it, any breakage can be restored. With the right craftsman, you can even restore a pulverized ancient tone to its original state. Something like this is actually easy. Your presence at the excavation site, ex excavation all authenticated my search, our search under the teacup site itself. Thank you again, Sensei, and then just a task force member. Yes, my name is Chica. Yes, the Chica. Thank you for your help, the Chica. That was actually a little anticlimactic. Anti Here I was preparing a dramatic speech on why I deserved to keep my job at the Justice Task Force. This ending makes me feel a little silly. I was so worried during that train ride, and for what? I found it was, it was still very meaningful. Getting to know you, getting to know you was enough for me. What did I say about you, about our way with words? You can't go around disarming people like that, Sensei. It's funny how I can feel a little kid around you. Although, I guess to you, that's all I am. Well, fine, I give in. Things are spiral out of control, and I just don't know what don't know anymore either. I'm not holding back anymore when I'm being spoiled when I'm a, when I'm being a spoiled brat, you better remember you're the, you're the one who said it was okay. I said I didn't want to be bothered and contact you willy-nilly. But things things are different now. Per your request. Consider this my declaration of war. I'm going to contact you whenever I feel like it. Remember that you brought this upon yourself. You attack first. So I think this is a pretty fitting punishment. I don't want to hear any complaints. That is okay, right? Of course I look forward to reaching you reaching out. Of course, and if you find it cumbersome, please take responsibility for your actions. I'm going to become your number one most cumbersome student. I can't wait. I don't know about that. I got lo I got loads of them. Well, I think we could be both of you some rest after today. I'll be seeing you after for personal business, Sensei. Until next time. What's going on over here? Epilogue, transport truck. <laughs> Targets arrived, change links. Now we're doing this again. Hurry up and get on the get in there and think about get, starting something. Oh boy, she got caught again, didn't she? Stop there, don't move a muscle. Until we get to, until we get to Gihanna. 
Pain and shackles secured. What about the rest of the con convoy? All the gang members are secured. She's the only one passenger for this vehicle, correct? We have more than enough vehicles, and this one requires extra care. Yori's prank words were, be on high alert. She's on our most wanted list. Most wanted? Her? She, she really doesn't seem all that much. You didn't see the havoc she caused. She sent the entire train crew to the infirmary and blasted the train to the high heaven. This isn't your average criminal. I know, I know. I've heard some insane stories from our under upperclassmen. But all that ends today. She'll be taken to the prefect team's headquarters and never see the light of day again. She wants to say a word, though. Hey, you! See? See? It's a little annoying. Don't worry about anything besides your job. We need to get her to the headquarters ASAP. Rear gate closed. Stand by for takeoff. I'll, I'll get seated inside. She's going to escape again, isn't she? She's going to escape again. Let's go! Oh, but we're back where we started. We're back where we started. Hey, you want to know something? Oh boy. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, she's loose again. Lord Almighty. Oh well. That was, a, that was a fun little event. Uh, but that's gonna be it for now. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's coming up next. Uh, maybe another event. Maybe finally we'll get some story updates. We haven't had a story update in a while. Um, maybe something will come up. But uh, that's gonna be it. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see what we do when we come back. And uh, I will see you then. Later.